Hey guys! So in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about this lovely lady right here. Isn't she beautiful? She's amazing. Yeah. This is my mannequin, and she's very curvy, like me. No. She is super cute, and I actually got her for my birthday this year, for my 18th birthday. Super exciting. Yeah, not really. And then a lot of you guys are probably like, you guys, you asked for a mannequin for your birthday? Yes, I did, because you know what? These things are expensive, and I didn't have the money for that. So yeah, this is what I got for my birthday. And she's pretty cool. It's pretty self-explanatory what she does. She's here to help me make dresses. But I thought I'd tell you guys a little bit about her, because you guys might want to buy a mannequin too, but not know which one to buy. So this beautiful thing came in this beautiful box. Ah, would you look at that. And if you wanted to purchase this same mannequin that I have, you can go to www.adjustoform.com. Adjustoform. Yeah, I don't know, that's a stupid name. But it just says dress form on the top, and I got the, I don't know, my double. That's what it's called. So she's pretty cool. I like her a lot. I need to name her, so if you guys have any suggestions for what her name should be, please leave them in the comments below. I really need a name for her, and I will tell you guys her name and who gave me the name if you guys come up with a good one. So yeah, do it, because that's pretty darn awesome. Yeah, I know. So yeah, she's pretty cool. Um, let me undress her real fast for you guys. This is what her body looks like. She has these sides that adjust to make her fatter or skinnier, but she come pretty skinny, so you guys might want to eat if you're any skinnier than she was when she came. So yeah, she's got adjust adjusters like everywhere on her body, and that's pretty cool. And they have like the measurements on this side, and then for her, like. For my body type, she works okay. Her top part is very much like mine, but the body part of her isn't because I have a really big behind, not gonna lie, and hers just ain't cutting it. It's just not big enough. And if I make her hips any bigger, then it just makes me really wide, and so my clothes won't fit right because I'll look like super wide but have no booty. So the way that I'm going to have to fix that is actually they teach you how to do it in this little booklet that comes with the mannequin and it teaches you how to put extra padding onto your mannequin to adjust you better so if you have like bigger boobs or a bigger butt or you know huge love handles or something, I don't know, you can add padding to your mannequin to make her more like your own body. So I still have yet to do that, like I said her butt's not big enough but the rest of her is pretty you know even with me which is very nice and then she doesn't have a head which kind of sucks but whatever she does have this little pin cushion up here so I can stick needles in it which is kind of cool kind of mean and weird at the same time but yeah so I really like her then she has this little thing down here which you guys probably can't see but it helps you adjust the length of skirts or anything like that and then the dress that I had on her originally when you guys saw the video is actually the first dress I made. So yeah, this is the first dress that I've ever made. And I think it looks better on me than it does on the mannequin, but I'm not going to try it on right now because I'm already dressed. But yeah, I made this dress using this pattern, which is the new look number 6095. Um, and it is an easy pattern, that's why I picked it, because I really needed something super, super easy to start with because I've never made dresses before, so I was really worried about it. And it turned out pretty good, I think. I didn't have too much problems with it. The most problems that I had with it was because I didn't understand what all the terms meant. So if you've never used a pattern before, I do recommend going on YouTube and looking up a video on how to use a pattern. And then from there, try and do to make your dress and then after that once you're going through your dress if there's a term that you do not understand don't guess what it means because that's what I tried to do and I messed up so don't try and guess what it means 
uh, go to YouTube or somewhere on the internet and look up what the term means and then try and do it. Um, and then I think that there might be a term like dictionary in the, pat the book that you get, but I'm not quite sure. I don't really remember. And if there was, I think that I might not have been able to understand it, and that's why I decided to go onto the internet and look what the terms meant because I wasn't quite sure. So before you do anything, yeah, make sure that you know what the terms mean and know how to use a pattern. Don't just start sewing because there are lots of different things that you need to know before you do that. Okay, so then I have one other thing to show you guys before this video is over, and that is this bag, which I'm so proud of. I love this bag. I think that it's so cute, and I think I did a really good job. So yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself. Whoops. <laughs> it looks just like this, and it kind of looks like a backpack. That's what I actually originally thought. It was at first glance of the pattern, but then I found out that it was just a regular bag, but I still really liked it. thought it was super cute, and I don't know if I showed you the inside. It's pink. It has a zipper here. Really cool. Right here has a pocket on the front. Actually, a few pockets on the front. So that's really nice. And I made this bag using this book, which has tons of different bags in it. And this is Bags the Modern Classic by Sue Kim. And if you wanted to purchase this book, you could purchase it at stashbooks.com. But I actually bought this book at Joanne Crafts, so if you wanted to get it there, you could as well. So yeah, that's really all I had to show you guys. I just wanted to show you my beautiful new friend. She's my best friend, and she lives here in my room. And yes, if you wanted to know, she's probably going to be sitting right here, because I don't have anywhere else in my room to put her sad day because this isn't a really good spot but yes this is her new home so yeah give her a name because I don't know what to name her and if you guys know what to name her then put it in the description box below uh, not in the description box in the comment box below I put stuff in the description box you guys put stuff in the comment box and then we're happy so yeah comment a name for her and yeah I will pick one if I like any and yeah